the two most controversial vehicles from Tech Drive, the Cybertruck and the Cyber Cab, are back in the spotlight after some major revelations following the recent Q3 earnings call. Both of these futuristic machines have stirred intense debate since their first unveiling, some people adore their bold design and vision, while others can't stand how wild and unconventional they look. But no matter which side you're on, these vehicles continue to make headlines and challenge what we thought possible. Before we dive into the latest news, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future tech drive updates. Trust me, what's coming next will blow your mind. Now, back to the story, Elon Musk just confirmed that the long-awaited Cyber Cab, also known as the RoboTaxi, finally has an official production start date after years of testing. On the other hand, the Cybertruck, once considered Tesla's ultimate breakthrough vehicle, has hit another bump in the road with a frustrating recall. Reports indicate that around 63,000 Cybertrucks have been recalled, which is nearly equal to the total number sold so far. This marks the eighth recall for the vehicle, sparking rumors that Tech Drive might even be considering discontinuing it. Meanwhile, the buzz around Tesla's new $30,000 affordable car continues to grow, pulling even more attention toward the company's shifting strategy. So, the big question, is Elon Musk still steering the company in the right direction, or has he gone too far down the experimental road? During the earnings call, Musk dropped a series of huge announcements that sent shockwaves through both the investment and tech communities. One of the boldest revelations was about the Cyber Cab, Tesla's first fully autonomous robotaxi, a key piece in Musk's plan for a driverless future. Although the Cyber Cab was originally unveiled last October, it lacked a proper production line. That has now changed. Instead of using a traditional car assembly line, Tesla is introducing a revolutionary new method called the unboxed production line. According to Musk, the line is nearly complete, and large-scale cyber cab production is set to begin in the second quarter of 2026. To make it happen, the company is already hiring hundreds of cyber cab production engineers and technicians, showing that things are moving fast toward actual manufacturing. Now, Here's the part that has many people talking, the production version of the Cyber Cab will have no steering wheel and no pedals. Yes, you heard that right. It's a vehicle built entirely for full autonomy, a machine optimized for self-driving technology from the ground up. Elon Musk confidently stated that Tesla has finally cracked the code of high-level autonomous driving, and he's, 100% sure, that it's at least as safe as, or even safer than, human driving. This statement alone is one of Musk's boldest declarations in years. It marks the start of a new era, where Tesla is not just talking about the future of driverless transportation, but actively preparing to roll it out. By the end of next year, Musk says Tesla will have a large cyber cab network ready for practical use. The cyber cab's design reflects a balance between futuristic minimalism and real-world practicality. Its compact size and sleek, aerodynamic profile are optimized for urban environments. The two-seater layout allows for maximum passenger comfort and enough space for luggage, all while keeping the vehicle lightweight and energy efficient. Inside, the materials are durable and easy to clean, perfect for taxi fleet usage. The panoramic glass roof gives a spacious, open-air feel, even though there's no rear window. Passengers can enjoy the full Tesla infotainment ecosystem, including streaming services, AI-powered navigation, and automatic trip updates. The vehicle even personalizes each ride by adjusting seat positions, lighting, and temperature based on the passenger's profile stored in the Tesla app. Meanwhile, the current FSD software, version 13, has reached a surprisingly natural level of driving behavior. It can handle complex, human-like decisions such as slowing down slightly when seeing an animal on the roadside or shifting lanes to avoid small obstacles. And coming soon, FSD version 14 is set to introduce reasoning capability, a massive leap forward that allows the AI to understand context and make logical, human-like decisions. Elon Musk claims that Tesla's self-driving system is now so advanced that passengers could safely work, watch movies, or even nap during a ride, though he clarified that the official rollout of fully unsupervised driving will happen only after extensive safety validation. But here's the real kicker, Musk revealed that before the end of 2025, Tesla plans to operate fully autonomous taxis with no human driver or safety supervisor in select areas of Austin, Texas. He described this as a safety-focused transformation, 
saying that completely autonomous operation could actually be safer because when a human driver is present but not paying attention, it introduces more risk. The company is also preparing to expand robo-taxi operations to 8 to 10 major U.S. cities, including Nevada, Florida, and Arizona, by late 2025. This strategy shows that Tesla is playing smart, testing in small zones, gathering real-world data, refining the system, and then scaling nationwide. Now, while the cyber cab is being produced at an estimated cost of around $30,000, this isn't just another car. It represents an entirely new business model. Elon Musk has envisioned this for years, a system where any Tesla with FSD could operate as an autonomous taxi when not in use, allowing owners to earn passive income. Essentially, Tesla aims to transform millions of its vehicles into a massive, interconnected transportation network powered by AI. Still, the cyber cab stands apart, it's the first Tesla ever designed to be fully driverless from day one. With no steering wheel, no pedals, and complete reliance on AI, it symbolizes Tesla's boldest step into a world where cars drive themselves. But while the cyber cab story sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, the Cybertruck situation tells a very different story. Tesla is recalling more than 63,000 Cybertrucks in the US because their front lights are too bright, posing a potential safety hazard. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, this recall affects certain Cybertrucks from the 2024 through 2026 model years. The problem? The front parking lights emit more brightness than legally allowed, which can blind or distract oncoming drivers and increase the chance of accidents. Fortunately, Tesla detected the issue internally before any crashes occurred. Engineers noticed that the brightness exceeded federal safety limits. The fix is simple, an over-the-air software update that adjusts the lighting output, sparing Tesla the cost and hassle of hardware replacements. This incident, however, gave the public some insight into Cybertruck sales numbers. The recall report listed 63,619 affected vehicles, likely close to the total Cybertruck units sold so far. While this isn't catastrophic, it's a bit disappointing given that Tesla once claimed to have over a million pre-orders and an annual production goal of 250,000 units. The biggest issue? Pricing. What was supposed to start at $40,000 now begins around $80,000, making it far less accessible than fans expected. And remember, the Cybertruck can't even be sold in several European countries due to pedestrian safety risks caused by its sharp, rigid design. This has fueled speculation that the model could soon be discontinued or limited to niche markets only. Stay tuned, because what's happening behind the scenes is even more interesting. Before we continue, make sure you've subscribed to Tech Drive and tap the bell icon. We've got more breaking updates from inside the Tesla empire you won't want to miss. Alongside the Cybertruck recall, Tesla also issued another recall for nearly 13,000 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. According to official documents filed with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, these models might experience a sudden loss of propulsion while driving, not something you want to hear about an electric car. About 40% of the affected vehicles are Model 3 sedans from the 2025 model year, while the other 60% are Model Y SUVs from 2026. The issue comes from a faulty part in the battery pack contactor, which could fail unexpectedly and cause the car to lose acceleration power. Now, Tesla has assured drivers that if the issue occurs, the vehicle will display a warning instructing them to safely pull over. The fix isn't something that can be done through an over-the-air update this time. Owners will need to visit a service center to replace the faulty component, but, of course, the repair is completely free. All of this has raised one major question among investors and fans alike, has Tesla stretched itself too thin? While some believe Elon Musk's bold bets will pay off in the long run, others worry that the company is juggling too many massive projects at once, from the cyber cab and the Optimus robot to its long-promised affordable EV. Speaking of Optimus, this robot might just be the next big leap for Tesla after the cyber cab. During the earnings call, Musk revealed that Optimus version 3 will be unveiled in early 2026, and he made a mind-blowing claim, it will look so realistic that people might need to touch it to believe it's a robot. 
the current Optimus 2.5 model is already working inside Tesla factories, performing simple repetitive tasks like sorting parts and assisting workers. But version 3 is built for mass production, and Tesla's goal is nothing short of stunning, to produce 1 million units per year by the end of 2026 and potentially 50 million per year in the long term. That might sound impossible, but analysts agree that Tesla's progress in robotics is impressive. The biggest challenge in humanoid robotics right now is hand dexterity, teaching robots to move, grip, and manipulate objects like humans do. Once Tesla perfects that, Optimus could become as iconic as the Cyber Cab, two faces of the same AI revolution, one on wheels and one walking upright. While the company's robotic ambitions are stealing the spotlight, one thing Elon Musk carefully avoided during the earnings call was the long-rumored low-cost Tesla car. For years, fans have been waiting for an affordable electric model, often referred to as the Model 2. Early reports hinted it would be priced under $25,000, using Tesla's third-generation EV platform and the innovative, unboxed, manufacturing process, a production method designed to dramatically reduce costs and assembly time. However, in early 2024, Musk unexpectedly pulled the plug on that plan. Instead of developing a completely new small EV, Tesla decided to release stripped-down versions of the Model 3 and Model Y to fill its production capacity. This move, while faster and cheaper, didn't go over well with customers. Many buyers felt Tesla removed too many signature features while keeping the prices too high. In China, where the electric vehicle market is the most competitive in the world, these simplified models failed to make a splash. Consumers complained that the price wasn't attractive enough, and the missing features, such as heated rear seats, ambient lighting, and advanced autopilot options, made the cars feel like downgrades rather than affordable Teslas. Even some loyal fans called it a disappointment saying that Tesla seemed to be losing the magic that made its brand so special. Before this pivot, Tesla's original plan was to release an entirely new compact EV platform capable of producing a true mass-market electric vehicle priced under $25,000. This model was expected to revolutionize affordability and accessibility, bringing EV ownership to millions more people. But instead, Musk's focus shifted heavily toward autonomy and robotics. He believed that full self-driving technology was so close to perfection that investing in cheaper manual cars was no longer a top priority. Still, the idea of a $25,000 Tesla refuse is to die. Two secret projects, codenamed NV91 and NV93, are rumored to be back in development. Insiders say these models will use Tesla's next-generation EV platform and could finally deliver on that long-promised affordable price point. If this turns out to be true, it could restore Tesla's dominance in the lower-cost EV market, especially against the fierce competition coming from China and Europe. For now, though, Tesla seems to be focusing on fewer but more advanced projects, the Cyber Cab, Optimus, and the ongoing FSD development, even if that means leaving out budget-conscious customers. This has frustrated many fans who believed in Tesla's early mission to make electric vehicles accessible for everyone. Instead, Tesla's latest cars, even the standard versions, are still far from cheap, and in trying to cut costs, the company may have trimmed away part of its identity. The removal of features like power-adjustable seats, premium audio systems, and even the famous frunk downgrade shows just how far Tesla went to hit a lower price point. But as many owners pointed out, it came at the expense of the Tesla experience, the seamless, futuristic vibe that once made the brand untouchable. At the same time, competitors like BYD, NIO, and Volkswagen are rapidly advancing in the affordable EV sector, forcing Tesla to rethink its next move. Analysts warn that without a strong presence in the sub-$30,000 range, Tesla could risk losing its foothold as newer players take over the mainstream market. Still, Elon Musk has always been known for thinking decades ahead. His current obsession with autonomy and robotics might not make immediate sense, but history shows that his long-term bets often pay off in unexpected ways. The Cyber Cab and Optimus could redefine mobility and labor in the same way the original Tesla Roadster redefined performance EVs nearly two decades ago. If the Cyber Cab network succeeds, we could soon live in a world where millions of cars drive themselves, 
picking up and dropping off passengers without a single driver. It's the dream of transportation on demand, cheaper, faster, and safer than ever before. And if the Optimus robot reaches its potential, we might see humanoids working in factories, hospitals, or even homes, doing the tasks people find repetitive or risky. Together, these two products represent Musk's ultimate vision of an AI-driven world. But that vision comes with a cost, delays, controversies, recalls, and skepticism. The Cybertruck recall, the negative feedback on the cheaper Model 3-slash-Y, and the absence of an affordable model all show that Tesla's journey is far from smooth. Yet, Musk thrives in chaos. Each setback seems to fuel his ambition even more. No matter where you stand, whether you think Elon Musk is a genius ahead of his time or an overambitious dreamer, you can't deny that he's rewriting the rules of the auto and tech industries. The next two years will be crucial. The Cyber Cab's rollout, the Optimus V3 launch, and possibly the long-awaited $25,000 EV could decide the future of Tech Drive's empire. Would you feel safe stepping into a fully autonomous Tesla Cyber Cab with no human driver inside? Do you believe Elon Musk's robo-taxi service could replace Uber and Lyft in the next few years? Let us know what you think down in the comments, we love reading your takes on this. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to Tech Drive, and hit the bell icon so you never miss our latest deep dives into Tesla, AI, and the future of transportation. Until next time, stay curious, stay excited, and see you in the next video.